If you're approaching menopause and debating about the relative safety of using hormones in menopause, well, there has been a new landmark study that just was published in the Journal of the Menopause Society. This study, which was performed at the NIH, used medical records from 10 million women and looked at the relative benefits of hormone therapy versus not. They actually broke down different kinds of hormone therapy, conjugated estrogens versus natural estradiol, with or without synthetic progestin versus progesterone. Then they broke down routes of administration, oral, transdermal, vaginal. So it is a very large paper. It's a lot of data to crunch, but I'm going to do a small series on the data from this because it really vindicates what I've been saying all along. So when I you know, started practicing in 1998 and then in 2002, I was right out of the gate, was kind of in a milieu of a practice that had other doctors that were involved in bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. And that was something I was incredibly interested in. So I, I learned a lot about hormones early on and was kind of made a name for myself as a bioidentical hormone doctor and saw so many incredible benefits. Then in 2002, the Women's Health Initiative study came out and it scared so many women off of hormones. And I did not agree with the way the data was being interpreted. And I felt like I was kind of a lone voice out there kind of countering all this misinformation in the media. And even sadly with other doctors like gynecologists and, and um, oncologists. And, and uh, for all these years, you know, I, just, I, I still interpret the data very differently. And finally, there's a vindication happening. And actually there was a, there was a study in 2022 that came out that looked at 26,000 women, divided them into two groups, hormone users versus not, and it was a longitudinal study. And it showed all cause mortality was actually equal in the hormone using women versus the non-hormone using women. Okay, but this new study says something very different. And this is a 10 million woman study done at the NIH. And basically, let's just kind of talk about the all-cause mortality. So all-cause mortality in women using hormone therapy versus not, all the way, and they were looking at women even beyond 65 years of age. So women had, who had stayed on hormones versus women who had never used hormones. We saw when you're taking all kinds of hormone therapy together, a 19% reduction in all-cause mortality, a 16% reduction in breast cancer, 13% reduction in lung cancer, 12% reduction in colorectal cancer, 5% reduction in congestive heart failure, 3% reduction in venous thromboembolism, so stroke, 4% reduction in atrial fibrillation, and 11% reduction in myocardial infarction, heart attacks, and a 2% reduction in dementia. So then they began to break it down into the different types of estrogen. And there was significantly better results in natural estradiol versus conjugated estrogens like Premarin. Um, there was better results in transdermal formulations versus oral. And so I'll be kind of like going through the data with a fine tooth comb, but let's just say this is very exciting information. And even conservative groups like the National Menopause Association and others are now saying, based on the data, that it is safe to use hormones post-menopause. The other thing I never agreed with is that there's no need to stop it. I mean, like they used to say, you can use hormones for five years, but after five years, it's no longer safe to use hormones. And I was like, where did you come up with that arbitrary number? Where's the data to back that up? Well, it turns out it's not true. If you need hormones and you choose to use them, it's safe to use them long-term, like for the rest of your life. So anyway, very exciting and stay tuned. I'll try to give you more data as I, as I can absorb it.